Hey guys, Tyler here. For the first time ever, ever, I'm gonna actually gonna say that I am not really interested in any of the consoles that are coming out next year in 2020. Now, of course, like, whenever there's like a console war, I'm always excited because I want to listen to the companies and the games that they have. However, for this year, for this generation, for the consoles coming out next year, I am sorry guys, but I have zero interest in any of them. Of course, they announced the new Xbox, they also announced the PS5, and here's my personal thoughts and feelings about the whole entire matter between the Xbox and the PlayStation. Now, first and foremost, I first want to say that the Xbox do not have any exclusives at all. I am dead serious. Like, the most games that I see on the Xbox nowadays are not really from Microsoft. Now, games nowadays are just mostly third-party games that you can play on any console. And I do mean, in fact, any console, you could play any of the games. As far as the so-called exclusive games in regards to Microsoft, like none of the games nowadays are really that exclusive. Like for example, you had the announcement that the Halo Trilogy or the Halo franchise is also coming to PC. There's also Gears of War, which is also on PC. Like practically all these so-called Xbox exclusive games are on PC. So why should I pay any money to play an Xbox? Like also in the past, it's kind of infamous that Microsoft also screwed over customers in the past. Like, for example, the whole entire controversy with the DRM. So it's kind of obvious that, of course, you cannot, you cannot really trust Microsoft. And also, more recently, there was like a controversy where basically like the Switch, not the Switch, the Kinect camera actually spied on the Xbox players. And so why should I trust like Microsoft in regards to any sort of system or privacy settings or the first party titles like there's nothing that's going to convince me to get an Xbox again as far as the case for like the PlayStation stuff now obviously like the PlayStation has better exclusive right however it's been revealed more recently that Sony is actually behind censoring many games like many of the Japanese games that you like that has like sexual content, they're actually censoring the games. And matter of fact, more recently, according to like some news updates, they actually stated that they moved their headquarters from like Japan to like California. And of course, California is known for being like super progressive and super love. And so basically, the main reason why they changed like the censorship for like the Japanese games is because they cite like Me Too. And honestly, I'm not surprised about this because CMS still, like a lot of games nowadays, they're trying to self-censor for sexuality. For some strange reason, in our country, it's perfectly fine to have like violence in any kind of form, but when it comes down to sexuality, it is not okay. And so essentially, Sony is actually censoring like all the games from Japan that has sexual content, but for some reason, they actually allow the violent content. Like for example, there was like a game, it was like of course like the Mortal Kombat stuff, it was also the various stuff like for like uh, Devil May Cry. And so a lot of Japanese games are suffering, and also according to the news, essentially what happened is that they also forcing the Japanese developers to not speak Japanese because of this decision and they had to speak English to the developers in like California. So basically on principle, I cannot get behind like the Sony console because their practices and to you know censorship of the games is not okay. And the best way to show like you cannot really accept like the stuff that they do is by not buying their consoles. Also as far as PC gaming is concerned, like basically, like thanks to the stream sales, they're actually much more cheaper to get the games on PC. Like the PC games, you have those sales all the time, like on October or whatever, and you save so much more money on a PC than a console. Like, <laughs> it's no joke either. Like, I prefer like physical copies of games, but guess what? Like, you save so much money by the sales on the PC 
compared to the console. You also get like better graphics and so I don't think any console this generation is actually really, you know, <laughs> really interesting to me. But uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section uh, down below and I'll see y'all next time.